stink. Nothing. Fooling about. Don't look horrible. I do look Morning. horrible. I do look horrible. No, you don't. She might get my fat chin. Uh, you're beautiful. Thanks, love. Pleasure. <laughs> okay, so we've been shopping and I'm supposed to be studying. Sorry about that. What was that? Uh, probably the big drop or something. I don't uh. know. Something okay. broke. So we got up late. Um, <laughs> well, actually. We, we, well, I got up, I was awake at quarter to eight. Okay, I suppose it's late for some of you. And then we were like, okay, now we'll sleep a little bit more. And then we got up at like quarter to ten. There's a reason for it. We always get up, well, my first alarm goes off at five during the week. And we had a late night with the youth last night. So, late night, late morning. We need our rest. Otherwise, we won't go. Okay, so basically every weekend we are up early. And every Friday we are home late. So we took the break. The only problem is, is that I'm writing on Monday, and I was supposed to get it, supposed to get up early so I can study, and I, I, I didn't really get there. So then we realized that we're going out tonight, so I had to make like a salad, and I needed stuff. So we went to the shop, and now we're still out, and we haven't got home yet, and it's already half past one. So. Okay, how am I supposed to squeeze? Thank you. Sorry, people are driving like pools as normal anyway so we're going home he's gonna help prepare lunch which isn't really that difficult it's warm, warming up some sausage for sausage. and then hopefully there will be left for lunch and then tonight what is it about to be at six o'clock tonight uh, we said we'll try and get there about five so we get there at six <laughs> okay so like anyway from five to six we need to arrive at a and place we don't know where to go I have an yes. idea this is where to go, but anyway, and then uh, maybe I'll pull a late nighter and I will try and study tonight again. I study better at night, anyways. Then yeah, you're the night owl. So I'm the early bird, sort of when it needs to be. Yeah, he likes to get up early, and I like to go to bed later. When I don't have to get up early, then then try and get me out of bed. <laughs> anyway, so that's the plan. Um, I don't know if I will show you what we look like later because I don't know how much of that's going to change. Maybe me putting on makeup and attempting to hide all the fat. Anyway, he looks good in whatever he wears. Um, why are you looking like a child? I make the child look good. <laughs> okay, whatever. Can you say broken science? In case you don't know, broken science means BS. Um, if you don't know what that means, well, then you're obviously not old enough to know yet. Right? Right? Bolting sticks! <laughs> hey! <laughs> you're gonna buy some? Oh, fish. Guys, I Give feel, me money, I'll buy. Guys, I feel like I'm pregnant. 
<gasps> Skanda, no, I'm not pregnant. Um, I be, I'm craving so many things right now. Like, I want sushi and I want biltong and I want dry rolls. And I'm just like, mm. I think sushi is because we haven't had this month here. Yeah, probably. We haven't had sushi this month and we walked past the Biltong shop now. So, you know, when you see something, you want it. As Ellie Meekum says, you got to practice being an adult and say no and just keep walking. So, we practice being an adult and just keep walking. Yeah. Mostly, mostly because our pocket kind of just determines this. I think being an adult is overrated. Yeah, I think being an adult is overrated. Anyway. I've tried it. It's boring. Anyways. Um. I had like a, could you call it a geek moment, an early moment, a freak out moment, or what moment? Uh, the shop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we went into a, a shop called Plastic, it was a plastic warehouse. Yeah. Okay. And um, you see, I want to open up my own educare, you know, where you look after like kids and stuff. Um, and I want to focus it being on like a school readiness program. Mm -hmm. And um, it feels like a fire in it. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so is a fire in it. I'm trying to talk here. Just pointing out. <laughs> and anyway, so in this plastic shop, they have like a whole section dedicated to, I can say kids, so like educational based things or like um, hobby based things, that, that kind of stuff. And because I want to open up my own educate. I like look at all these things and go, oh, they can do this and it helps with this. Oh, this helps with this kind of motor skill or what, you know. And Gideon looks at me, he's like, uh, okay. And well, I've, at least I had a moment as well. And I just want to like buy everything and I want to like just start tomorrow. So I need to price it and then see what happens. But it's th the possibility of it happening, I wouldn't say it's fairly high, but it's a possibility. You know, I just need to like talk to some people and find out if, you know, they're prepared to let us use their premises. Mm -hmm. um, you're not going to become a millionaire, you're not going to make tons of money, but I love working with kids and it would be exciting to be my own boss as well. And he's going to work for me, which will also be fun. <laughs> I'm going to tell him what to do. <laughs> and we're going to see. Let the kids! Hey! I'm sorry, I still get a kick out of it. You guys know the song Two Little Dicky Birds? Peter and Paul, they fly away, they come back. Two Little Dicky Birds. If you don't know it, go and research it. Okay? It's not as bad as what he makes it out to be. Look at my birds in the nest! <laughs> okay, this is an inside joke. You guys are not gonna get this unless I explain it, and I'm not doing it on camera. Not yet. So. You're just gonna have to... It's about the innocence of kids. <laughs> it is the innocence of kids. I don't know why you're getting such a kick out of it. Anyway. Because I want to be a kid. I said, I told you being an adult is overrated. I should have recorded what he did at the shop, but I wasn't thinking. <laughs> he came across a fire... <laughs> Shh, I'm telling them what happened. He came across a fireman's helmet. You know, like a kiddie's toy helmet. And he worked out that this helmet had an LED in it and it made a noise. <laughs> so he put the helmet on and he was running around the aisle. Um, the front badge of the fireman's department. Yeah, the, the, the front part of the, of, the, of the badge has the light in it so it yeah. flashes and it makes a noise. Well, the siren. Yeah, so he put it on and he was running around the aisle with his kiddie's helmet on. Yeah, I was running around you. Yeah, but it was in the aisle. Anyway, and then there were two other people in the aisle and like I don't get embarrassed that easily but he seems to get it right and I'm like, okay, so we need to go away now. Like, I don't know you. We just need to keep walking. But... Yeah, you don't know me but I just randomly run around some stranger. Yeah, and then he found like a we army like helmet it. that didn't quite fit and then a speed racer helmet and... Times... Like Oopsie. Oopsie. <laughs> times, times are fun but um... I love into pieces and that's what we do when we go shopping is we generally find something that's entertaining. So yeah, who knows. Mm. He's tired, he wants to go back to sleep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she do. Do you know that you need to cut your nose hairs? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, he's got lots of work to do before we leave tonight. He's got to wash dishes. He's got to make sure the dogs have water. He's got to find a marriage certificate. Oh, somewhere. Oh, well, I sit upstairs and study. Yeah, you just sit in your back. Excuse you. And study, but. Yeah, exactly. You sit in your so, what is um, post structuralism compared to feminism and how does it fit and tie together? Uh, if you don't know that by now, then I'm not going to tell you. What is colonialism and post colonialism? You should know that by now. You're right on Monday. So should you. I don't study this stuff. It's because you have no freaking idea. You did not see that. <laughs> anyway, so this is what happens. This is what I'm studying. It's weird, right? I'm studying English, language, and literature. But I need to know what post-colonialism and post-structuralism and stuff is. Gr time. Granted, it refers to literature and dramas and plays, but it's still like boring. Sorry, okay, it just is. I don't, I don't is enjoy it. She needed credits, and the stuff she wanted to study, they did not want to, to give it to her. So they gave her stuff to get the credits on that she doesn't. Yeah, they selected my so, subjects for me for the yeah. semester, and I don't like them, but oh well. Well, actually, I like, there's one subject I like, that's when you get to write your own poems and stuff. Um, those are the ones that are in the channel that I, you just hear my voice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, they but you're biased. But you're biased. Cause you're no, no, seriously, they're all good. Thanks, love. Did you? You use them, but the trouble. You never put pity by limited or trademark. I said original. By me. For whom the bell stole, is there an original by William Blake, Sutherland, Shakespeare? So okay, so if you use it, you just got to make sure that you have my name in there and tell them that I'm the person who wrote it. Otherwise... It's called I'll... parody. No, it's not. Parody jacket. No. Plagiarism. It's close enough. It starts with a B. Parody is when you use a play or a book or a poem or a whatever and you change it to make it hilarious. It's you you, you deconstruct it to its simplest form and you make it humorous. So things like. Is it Hot Shots that you like watching? Yeah. Where you have the half yeah. dog dude. No, half dog dude is spaceballs. Okay, like spaceballs is like a ripoff of Star Wars. Star Wars, so that's parody. Hot shots is a ripoff of a hell of a lot of movies. That's parody. You it's a funny movie. You deconstruct it to its most humorous, yeah. simplest form. I'll stick to the funny movie. It's understandable. Anyway, so that's what I've got to go and study because that's what I'm running on Monday. Good luck. Yeah. Oh well. Next semester is my last semester and it will be better and I'll be happy. We were at a Sunday school meeting the other day. I think we talked about this. A little bit. And some of the topics we covered, I was looking at the notes and she's supposed to be studying this, not me. Yeah, it was quite funny because they broke us up into groups and we were supposed to discuss um, like group discussions. But the, the one question, the one that I had, asked you about some theory. I don't even know what the theory was. And I literally sat there going, I'm not at varsity, like I feel like I'm in a lecture. Sorry to those of you who know me that did it, that are watching, but it was boring. Um, we needed it, but I didn't enjoy it. Like, I don't want to get up at 7 o'clock in the morning and attend something at 8 and then I feel like I'm in a lecture for, like, the whole day. Yeah. Make it fun. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Sharon Manuel's got a nice way of making it fun. She's got nice. Come on, no, please make teachers, another programs, tra training sessions. Yeah, training sessions. You did not see. That. I will put it down to the fact that he's tired. He needs coffee and chocolate. Oh, <gasps> I got chocolate. Lots of the, chocolate. I got chocolate in the fridge. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but it's not full song. Sushi. <laughs> Oh, we're having a spit bride tonight, guys. Oh, I heard that. <laughs> What's that, your neck? Neck, spine, shoulders. I don't know if you guys heard neck, that. Neck, spine, shoulders. 
spine, shoulders, spines and back, spine and back. Oh my gosh, and I'm talking about running an educator and you're trying to make up your own. Hey, you'll have me doing activities. Show them the dicky bird, the, I mean the uh, birds in my nest thing. Uh, it's something about... Uh, ten fingers. Okay, you don't have to do the whole thing, but then... Nest, make a nest, cup, and... And you do it here. But according to... No, by your stomach. Because you don't want to buy the boobs. Okay, fine. Stomach. See? Stomach. And so you made your nest, cuppers, and you've got your it's birds. A, it's a settling song to get kids to settle down before a lesson. And the birds go to the nest. But she t tells me that she had a kid in her educate a couple of years back. That didn't do it yet. He did it all the way down here. And look at my birds! Look at my birds! Yeah. He, and he, he would also do like... You do the song Peter Rabbit, like Peter Rabbit's got ears and there's a fly on his nose and everything. But he'd turn around in the middle of the song and shake his bum and be like, Look at my tail, look at my tail, look at my tail. And then, like, you know, <coughs> all the kids laughing and then they would, they would go with the lesson because, yeah, he was the class clown and I loved him to pieces and I miss him. <laughs> yeah. That's before I know this. So I, you know, I tell him all these stories because he's going to help me and I'm trying to get him excited about kids because it's entertaining and he's like oh no oh no so i don't know i don't know who's more excited him or me maybe me i, I, I just of some of the sorry for any administrators but some of these things are crap as an adult as an adult thinking of it what adult what ways, what exactly though is like uh, some of the songs and some of the ways you do it but understandable there is a reason for it i mean you do the Dactylness, and you do the dexterity the counting and, and the everything. Count. So yeah. there's a reason. But think of it in an adult sense. <laughs> okay, so imagine yourself as an adult sitting in front of kids, and you have an adult watching you. Now you're gonna like tap into your being a kid, and you're gonna be like, "Little Peter Rabbit's got a fly up on his nose. Oh crap! There's an adult watching me. Yay! I gotta be a kid. Woohoo!" Yeah, that's not fun. Yeah, well, the adult will then. Sorry, guys, I'm getting lost. The oh. adult will be paying you to act like an idiot. No, but not when you're learning. Then you go. Then you got like a facilitator or a lecturer or a uh, someone who comes to mark you to see if you're good enough to be a teacher. Yeah, but hey, baby girl. You have to be super good enough to do it. Anyway, so. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so like you'll have an an invigilator almost that'll come and like mark you, and then that's nerve wracking because now you've got to do like everything spot on, and you've got to know what you're talking about, and then they go to your boss and they say, oh, she's not ready, or he's ready, or whatever. So, but I'm not gonna be doing that because I trust him, and I'm gonna be teaching anyway. I'm an idiot enough. No, well, he's gonna be doing all the like the hand eye coordination and all that kind of stuff, and I'm gonna be teaching the classes. I will refrain from using ball skills with you. You make it dodgy. You said it, not me. You make it dodgy. What does your shirt say? Uh, it just depicts my uh, personality. Uh, Smur oh. <laughs> Smurfing me awesome. <laughs> uh, so being egotistical, she bought me the shirt. I bought him the shirt and he is awesome. I love you, babe. Have you. Okay, so this is going to be us for today because this is already 17 minutes into the, the video and it's doing this all the time and it's going to annoy you guys. <laughs> Just like that. Because okay, so we're, it's not going to annoy you anymore and we're going to go and I don't like the way I look. So just, yeah. Anyway, love you. Bye. Bye. We'll wait. We'll see you guys. Well, you won't see us tomorrow, but we'll make a video tomorrow and then you'll see all three, four, Three, four, five? Four. Four on Tuesday because it's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday. Five, six, seven. seven so that's the rest of the week, but then they get those like every day. Something like that. <laughs> Bye, guys. You're comfortable. Good. Love you. I'm supposed to be comfortable. <laughs> so I'll keep you guys updated on the whole adoption thing, too. Bye.